Welcome to my channel. Today I will prepare an iconic Bengali appam recipe called aloo posto or potato poppy seeds. It's a side dish that is served in the main course along with hot steam rice. It can be served as a day-to-day -day meal as well as special occasion meal. If we skip the onion paste, then we can eat it as niramish or Bengali vegetarian dish. Please watch till the end. If you like my recipe, then please subscribe to my channel. Do not forget to click the bell icon below. You can also like, share and comment below. I reply to all. I have soaked poppy seeds half cup for 9 hours. Minimum time for soaking is 4 to 5 hours. Longer the time of soaking, faster and better will be the paste. Drain the water. As you can see, I have already transferred the poppy seeds to the chutney jar. I have here half cup of water. Added water little at a time. I have added half of water first and then grinded poppy seeds. Checked in between if the poppy seeds paste is nicely done. As we can see that the poppy seeds paste is still grainy. So I added nearly the remaining water and grinded the poppy seeds. I have added little less than half cup of water in all in small installments. I have grinded the poppy seeds till it becomes a fine paste. As you can see, there is no grain at all. Poppy seeds is nicely pasted. I will now transfer it to a bowl. I have taken potato for each cut into 8 pieces. Skin is peeled off. We can also make smaller pieces. Added turmeric powder, half teaspoon, and salt, half teaspoon. Mix well. Heat mustard oil, five tablespoon. Traditionally, mustard oil is used, which is why I'm using it. You can use any other oil of your choice. Make sure that the mustard oil fumes well and there is no bubble in the oil and the color changes to light yellow from dark yellow. This step is must as the raw smell of mustard oil will spoil the taste of the curry. As you can see that the mustard oil is hot. Now pour the potato into the hot oil. Fry it in medium to high heat till golden brown.
added mustard oil 3 tablespoon more to the remaining oil heated it till it changed color add bay leaf 1 dry red chili 2 split into 2 5 foron half teaspoon Nigella seeds or kalo jire half teaspoon crushed cumin half tablespoon crushed coriander seeds half tablespoon saute in low to medium heat till golden brown cumin and coriander seeds are crushed in mixture and grinder in bulk till nearly powder and stored in airtight jars it gives much better taste to the curry than their powders as the masala is golden brown now add onion paste one and half tablespoon ginger paste two teaspoon saute in medium to high heat for four minutes After 4 minutes, add turmeric powder, half teaspoon. Saute for 2 minutes. Alternately, if we are using cumin and coriander powder instead of crushed cumin and coriander, then add cumin powder, half teaspoon, and coriander powder, half teaspoon, along with turmeric powder. Add poppy seeds paste. Mix well. Add fried potato. Salt, one teaspoon. And water, two and a half cups. Cover with a lid and cook for 15 minutes in medium to high heat. After 15 minutes, open the lid. Stir for 1 minute. Keep the curry a bit juicy as when the curry cools, water evaporates from the curry and becomes very dry. We need to have some buffer water so that even when the curry cools down, the curry is not very dry. Cut a potato to check if it is cooked. Taste it, add whatever is required. My curry is good. Switch off the gas. Now add raw mustard oil, 2 teaspoon on top of the curry. And green chilies, 5 slit in the middle before serving. Serve hot with hot steam rice. Serves 2 to 3 people. Please try it at home, share it with your friends and family. You can follow me on social media, links are given below. Please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon as well. I will be back with a new tasty recipe. Till then, stay healthy, eat healthy and enjoy life. Bye.